Let's check out some of the ways that Teams and Outlook integrate with one another. Starting with email tools, if you have set your default email provider in your computer settings, in Microsoft Teams, anytime you see someone's profile icon, you can hover over it and click their email address. This is going to open your email application to a brand new email and populate the user's email address so you can compose and send new emails without leaving the Teams environment. Now, a little tip from me, the crazy Teams lady, I always start new emails here. I just remove the pre-populated email address and replace it with my intended recipient. I don't like leaving Teams for anything, including starting new emails. If you want to use Outlook to share a conversation that's happening in Teams, you can do that from an individual chat message or from a conversation thread in Teams, hover over the message or the post and select the ellipsis and choose Share to Outlook. The individual chat message or the complete conversation thread is going to be placed in the body of an email using a table, which is especially helpful if you need to limit or manage what part of the conversation thread you're choosing to share. You can delete rows that have sensitive information within the conversation thread or even remove specific parts of the replies just to make sure you are only sharing the information you want to from that thread. Now, subject line is automatically added to the email, but you can update this if needed. And you can also add a special message above the chat message or conversation thread that you're sharing. And then you'll just add your recipients and hit send and do all of this without leaving the Teams environment. Did you know that every single Teams channel has an email address? Hover over the channel, select the ellipsis, choose Get Email Address, and then choose Copy. Now you can paste this email address into the recipient field of an email, making it the perfect way to forward important emails that you've received into your Teams channel for your colleagues to receive, as well as for storage and safekeeping. So it really is a really great way to organize emails that you've received in Outlook alongside any other collateral or conversations that you're keeping in Teams. These channel email addresses can be added to your contacts for future use if needed. Now, when you are in your Outlook inbox, you can also forward an email that you've received into a Teams chat, whether it's a one-to-one -one or group chat, or into the channel of a workspace. In classic Outlook, select the Share to Teams button. In the new Outlook, you're going to choose the Apps icon here, this button, and then select the Share to Teams option. Regardless of your Outlook version, the window is going to open and that's going to allow you to choose where to send this email, whether it's a one-to-one -one group chat or channel. Once you've selected where it's going, you can add a custom message and you can use this checkbox to include any attachments if applicable. Once you hit share, that email will travel into the Teams environment. Some other handy tools that do exist in Teams that you might not know about yet. From your profile icon, you can choose set status message and that's going to allow you to schedule and manage your out of office email replies right from Teams without having to go to Outlook. If you've created your out of office reply in Outlook, your colleagues can see this message in Teams as well. The calendar management tools that you enable in the Outlook settings appear in your Teams calendar as well, which include items like your custom work hours and any categories that you use to help organize and visually group meetings together. In Outlook, you can reply to an email by scheduling a Teams meeting, or if the person who has sent the email is an internal colleague, you can hover over their profile icon and choose the chat option to open your one-to-one -one chat with this user and carry on your conversation in Teams. 
you can set up missed activity emails. So an email will be sent to Outlook that summarizes some of the items that require your attention in Teams and you can use a button within the email to quickly jump to those items in the Teams environment. More Outlook and Teams integration tools are always being updated and released. So make sure you keep your eyes open to some of the new changes that are consistently being rolled out.